So uh, I had heard at some point that there was such a thing as uh, as wine in a can, yes. but I had never seen it in a store before. And then we had on the wine lady, Emily, today. That's right. And it was? Fantastic. Yeah. And she was great. Her personality is awesome. Ann Arbor-based business, right? Yes. And wine, I guess the thing is, is that people didn't expect wine in a can to be so good. You were like it was. Right? Listen, I, I had a California blend, red, great. I, I, I tried the Sauvignon Blanc, great. The rosé is maybe the lightest wine I have ever okay. tasted in my life. But you're into it. I am, and, and you can tell that right here. There's a proverb you may have heard, a necessity is the mother of invention. Well, one adventurous Ann Arbor woman found herself in need of something to quench her thirst after challenging hikes, so she created it. It's a wine experience uh, ready wherever life takes you. Emily Davish, did I say it correctly? Yep, Emily Davish, it's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Uh, she is here, the founder, as she likes to say, sh a chief wine lady of Soul Summit. Uh, a, a canned wine. Tell us about how you came up with this. Sure, so my husband and I are very into running and hiking. Okay. And so often when we would go on our adventures and our travels, we would find ourselves throwing a craft beer in our backpacks. Uh, I'm a lover of wine and what I found that was available in the Michigan market often had a lot of additives and it wasn't something that really suited our palates. And so I wanted to bring something to the market that sure. was premium and low intervention and certified sustainable so that we might be able to enjoy it and share it with our friends. Now I am told that there are canned wines that are that were on the market. I've never seen any. This is the first time I've, I think I've ever seen uh, you know wine in a can like a, like it's beer. Uh, what makes yours different? Within the market, I'm working with uh, one family from grape to glass uh, outside of Napa Valley in okay. the Clarksburg area. Additionally, the wine is certified sustainable and certified green, and the red wine that we have has scored as high as 99 points as submitted by our partner vineyard. So it's a, a lot higher quality and I think more drinkable with you know, sustainability in mind and some fun packaging. So as we uh, pan across the varying selections here, you have three different, uh, you have a Sauvignon Blanc, a Rosé, and then like a California Red Blend, is that, is that correct? That's right. Okay. Uh, why did you choose those? Uh, why not a Zinfandel or a Cabernet Sauvignon or like yeah. why these three? I went based off of my personal preference in part, but I also wanted to provide options to folks so that they can mix and match. Um, all of the wines I think are pretty easy drinking. I wanted something that folks can enjoy with or without food and in a glass or in the can. And so it's been wonderful to work with uh, my partner Vineyard and to bring these three items to market. All right, let's do, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm guessing this is the California Red Blend. This is the Red Blend. It's a Tempranillo and Grenache blend. And what does that mean? Uh, Spanish grapes. Oh, Spanish grapes, okay. Here we go. Let's try it. That is very good. <laughs> that is actually really good. Yeah. Like, I would want to have this if I was like, like at Ocean Prime or Hyde Park and I had a steak in front of me with a baked potato, I would want to drink this. And it's from a can. It's from a can. And so I find that folks are often surprised by the quality if they're not already familiar with canned products, but we're definitely seeing an increase in sales nationally with canned products and with canned wine. So whether folks are prepared for the good taste or surprised by it, I'll, I'll take it. I typically do not drink or like white wine. Okay. But I'm going to try this. Now, uh, tell us about this. Uh, that's a California Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, it comes from a climate similar to the Napa Valley. It is big and juicy and not quite as tart as what you would see with uh, most Old World or a New Zealand Sauv Blanc. It's good for the pool or good to have on a hike. All right, I'm going to save this one for Michelle right here. So yeah, <laughs> she's gonna Michelle try. gets the rosé. Where can f uh, people find out more information about Soul? Soul is in Soul sun? Summit, just like the sun. Soul Summit Wines. Where can they find out more? Uh, you can check out all of our locations listed at, online at our website, soulsummitwine.com, S-O-L, summitwine.com. We're also in stores like uh, Cantoro, Holiday Market in Royal Oak, oh, good Westbourne for you. Market, and a variety of others. That's awesome. Tati, which one can I save for you? Rosé. The Rosé. To learn more about interesting people, things, and events happening in the Ann Arbor area, including Soul Summit, visit the website, allaboutannarbor.com. 
which is made possible by the sponsors on your screen. All right, so we go from wine to fashion. There's a local fashion designer. Her name is Cheryl Zemke. She actually showed at New York Fashion Week this year. Wow. And we're super excited for her because now she's going to be part of an international competition. And she has very unique and artsy designs. Wait until you see this dress. Yeah. Uh, is, is it a dress or a skirt? It's a dress. Okay, a dress that has the Rensen embroidered on the bottom. Yeah. A local fashion designer is being featured in an international art competition. This morning, she is joining us to show her designs and how they stand out. We want to welcome Cheryl Zemke to Live in the D. Thank you for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. This is super exciting, Cheryl. So your submission was accepted for an upcoming art prize competition mm -hmm. that is going to be in Grand Rapids. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so, you know, tell us a little bit about that. So um, it will be in Grand Rapids, and the contest runs from um, September the 15th to October the 2nd. And I will be, ho I'm hosted by JW Marriott in okay. Grand Rapids. So I'm putting a three-piece installation, and I brought with me today one of the pieces. All right, well, let's get into it, because we've got some mm -hmm. gorgeous designs that we want to share with you all. So let's get into it. So this is Jenna, and Jenna is wearing um, the piece that inspired my collection. Wow. Um, it has over five. 586 silk sunflowers on it and some other uh, miscellaneous flowers in the back um, of the dress. Um, so this was inspired by a Ukrainian, a woman who um, approached some uh, uh, Russian soldiers oh. in her, her neighborhood and gave them sunflowers to put in their pockets. I remember that. Yes, I that remember story that. was really compelling to me, so I created this to display my new uh, store in Wyandotte, Michigan. Very nice. So how long did it take you to create this? Uh, probably about two months. Uh, gathering oh, wow. up sunflowers in uh, March work was kind of difficult because I had it done in May when I opened the store. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Very nice. Yeah, so Very nice indeed. Now we have two other models joining us as well mm -hmm. um, and we're going to talk about what they're wearing so I can have you go back and let's have the other ladies come forward. Thank you, Jenna. Okay. So this is Jay Rue and she is wearing a garment that I hand beaded. Um, the collar, it was inspired by Erte, the fashion designer and uh, artist from in the 20s and 30s. I like it. Um, this is a design that I showcased in uh, New York Fashion Week this past ah, September. Okay. And if you look at the bottom, um, there is a hand embroidered um, design of the Detroit skyline, including the Run Sun, um, the Ambassador Bridge. This, this one I, I see that. We like that. We like that a lot. Yeah. So let's get to our last model. Yes. Thank you. So Amvika is wearing something that I carry at my store. It is a line of beautiful scarves that you can put all the, wear all different ways. Um, they're art inspired. You can wear them all different ways and um, really funky kind of uh, cool modern jewelry. In the store I carry a lot of different things that are art based. Very nice. And very the, nice. her jeans are really, really smashing cool because look at the slit on the inside of the leg. It's so pretty. I like it. Very, it's a nice yeah. little touch. Now, yes. you've also brought in some other designs from your boutique yeah. in Wyandotte. Now, we don't have time to go through all of them because we're just about out of time, but how would you describe your style uh, and what we can find at your boutique? Yeah, very, very art inspired is basically um, I have a handmade art by myself. I have consignment pieces uh, like the Petoskey stone that I'm wearing. Ooh, this I is like one that. of the consignment pieces that I carry. Um, handmade soaps, um, jewelry, um, a lot of different uh, items. I have some Austrian crystal items and some whimsical items like my worry knot dolls that take your worries away. I love it. It feels mm -hmm. very whimsical and artsy. I love yes. the vibe. So let everyone know where your boutique is located and how they can follow along with your fashion designs. Yes. I am located in the heart of Winda at 2934 Biddle Avenue. And why not? Awesome, Cheryl. Thank, thank you, you so much for, for being with me. us. And thank you to your lovely models yes. as well. We appreciate all of you being here. So uh, John Witz and friends uh, on the show today for Arts, Beats, and Eats in Royal Oak. Uh, the, the, we already covered the uh, music, the, the music, the beats. So now we had to get to the arts and the eats. Yeah, and of course it's all about the food and about the art too. But food is key. And we had um, Nigerian food. Was what delicious. was okay? We're in a second here. You're gonna see there yeah. was like a, a, a pile of rice, and then there were, it looked like a mashed potato on top or something. I don't. What, what, that was the pounded yam blend. That's fufu. Okay. Yeah. So what is that dish called? Fufu. 
The, the entire dish. Yeah, I think so. That's what I would refer to it, it was as. Delicious. So was the jollof rice. This is the 25th anniversary of one of the uh, biggest Labor Day festivals to happen in the D every year. Soaring Eagle Arts, Beats and Eats, presented by Flagstar Bank, is back in downtown Oak of Royal beginning this Friday. Earlier this week, we got a preview of the Beats, and now it's time to talk about the art and the eats. Joining me today to discuss that are two people you will see at the festival uh, this weekend, artist Anthony Brass. Hey, Anthony. Hey, how's it going? Uh, uh, well, good. Uh, PJ Irabu with Fork in Nigeria. Good morning to you both. Good morning. All right, uh, different food vendors will be at Arts, Arts Beats and Eats. We're gonna hear about that from John Witz here in a second. Uh, so PJ, let's start with you. Uh, tell us about Fork in Nigeria. I see the, is it a food truck? Is it a trailer? I see it out front. Yeah, so it's a food truck, it's a trailer, it's a restaurant. Okay, well, what will you be serving at the festival, PJ? This, this year we're going to have a few different things. You know, for everybody that thinks that food trucks are just uh, tacos and regular stuff, you're gonna see a lot of gourmet food. Starting from this area, we have our, our favorites, which is the spinach stew, and this is vegan for all the vegan families. The jollof rice is one of our favorites. Uh, these are all vegan. Okay. Again, this is our most popular meal right now that's trending on TikTok. This is called the fufu and igusi stew. We're going to have that live in the, in, in the food truck for everybody. Oh, so day. what is it exactly? So the fufu is a pounded yam, is, 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 is blended pounded yam with the sauce. The sauce is, uh, uh, the, it has a, um, the, the, the sauce comes from spinach and other different things that we bring from Nigeria to make it look and taste really, really good. Okay, and then we have what, chicken? And we have the chicken. This is the lamb shank that we make. We can make oxtails. These are all premium meats and premium food that you're going to be getting live at the uh, Royal Oak uh, Arts Beast and Eats. Now, I, I see something over here. That, what would you call this right here? This is a beef patty, which is uh, like a pastry. Okay, and it's it, really oh, so it's like a, a pasty of north. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, gotcha. it is. Um, and then you have a drink here. This is the hibiscus tea, our favorite zobo. It's all organic, made with honey, and it's, it has got hibiscus tea, ginger, and all of the, all of the natural uh, ingredients. Anthony, tell us about the art. Yeah, so there's gonna be lots of art at this weekend's fair. Um, my work is uh, acrylic on wood. As you can see here, it's all, a lot of it's nature-based, and um, what I do is I kind of paint um, places I've been or ideas I've had in my sketchbook or things I read about. Uh, it's very beautiful. I mean, uh, you, you do commissions? I do commissions. I'm pretty busy, so I don't get to get to those till like the winter time, but yeah. Okay. Well, how can somebody find you on like social media? Uh, you can find me with just searching my name, Anthony with the letter R, Brass. Anthony and, uh, Brass. That's everything, yeah. Okay. Hey, look who's joined us. It's John Witz, our old friend. What's going on? How are you, Jason? Well, not, you're, you're not old, but you're like our previous friend. I am friend. old and your old friend, so it's both, but uh, all good. Tell us about the whole overview. Thank you both, by the way. Uh, John, take it, take it home. I, I will, but I just, this is, uh, you know, gives a, a great picture of, of the eclectic, the quality, the, the, the taste, the sounds, the, what you'll see at the festival. I mean, just an, an amazing lineup of food and P PJ brings it, Anthony brings it, so many visual artists. Uh, on the food side, uh, Fork in Nigeria plus uh, Galindo's, Imaginate in Royal Oak, Luigi's, uh, and so many places. And, and there's a charitable aspect. There is. Uh, we have 50 nonprofits partnering, so uh, proceeds are shared from uh, beverage sales, from our gate sales, and again, if you come and enjoy bands like Florida Chevelle, 311, uh, uh, the Beatlemania. John Witts experience. Fits in the tantrums, yes. Oh. And 164 other local bands. It's going to be great. And, uh, and these guys kind of demonstrate how cool and colorful and uh, tasty it's going to be. John can make your hands clap. <laughs> what is the cost? Uh, it's free. It's Local 4 Free Friday. So if you're looking for value, it's free before 5 on Friday, thanks to Local 4. And then throughout the weekend, it's $5 before 3 and uh, $10 after. So get a lot of good stuff and right. you can find value too. Oh, there's Parking is everywhere. Rocky Raccoon right there. Uh, to find out more about Soaring Eagle heart, Arts, Beats and Eats and Hearts too, including times for all those acts taking the main stage, just go to the artsbeatseats.com. Again, that's artsbeatseats.com. Thank you all three terrific trio for being here today. Thanks for hanging out with us for Live in the D in the Green Room. And we will be with you guys tomorrow live from the Peach Festival in Romeo. Hey, where are you going with my canned wine? Yeah, I